How to know when you should stop dieting? How do you know when you've lost enough weight? And I say this because when we start on our journeys and our, we go through your starting goals, so we, we, go, uh, we go in, what's, what, well, how much do you wanna lose or what's your main goal? And quite often, whether it, it might not be totally weight loss related, it could be just get in shape, be healthier, be fitter, be stronger, of course. But quite often, especially around this time of year, people will often say, you know, I wanna lose a stone, two stone, three stone, I need to lose six stone, whatever it is. And quite often we can just get into the habit of just going for it and just constantly trying to do it. And we could be on, on the diet, off the diet, we could be too aggressive for our lifestyle, we're working every day, we're working crazy overtime hours, uh, then family, life on top, and then we're like, oh, I just can't stick to it, I'm tired, I'm stressed, struggling to, I'm bloated, struggling to sleep, you name it. And um, we've almost gone too much in. Where on the other side, we might just be struggling to, to stick to it. Or on the other side, we might be, have not actually gone in hard enough. So it's a really tough one because let's face it, if you don't go in hard enough, you're gonna have to potentially, quote unquote, try and lose body fat for a longer period of time, which might not be as appealing as going in a bit harder and losing faster and both are absolutely fine it depends on you your lifestyle your motivation what you're willing to do so one thing we we talk about actually in the kickstart book on the first page is five percent of your starting weight is clinically significant and clinically significant is a really important thing to consider because that has a significance from a health metabolic point of view regarding cholesterol blood pressure risk of diabetes cancers you name it and that's clinically significant because actually you could go, right, when I lose 5% of my starting weight or after a certain period of time, maybe I need to reassess where I'm at. Now consider that at Fruity Fit, especially we do a lot of resistance exercise, which can sometimes impact the scales, like your body shape might be changing, of course. But if you are in this position where you're constantly hungry, tired, you're tired, nothing's changing, stressed, this is probably a good opportunity to use something called a diet break. Um, and research is quite interesting on this. Um, there was one very recently, actually, January last year, and they looked at um, being on a they were on a twenty five percent calorie deficit, and one group just did did it straight, um, so just continuous deficit. The other group did two weeks um, on on the deficit, and then one week back at maintenance. So they increased their calories by uh, that twenty five percent every two weeks. And what they found was there was no difference in the uh, metabolic rate, the fat loss, etc., changes in body composition, so muscle fat. But what they did find is that potentially this is a good way to reset, to feel good, to increase your energy, increase your motivation to keep going for longer. So, and I think this is an important thing to know that you could have a period where you increase your calories a little bit and you won't just gain loads of body fat. And I actually had a question yesterday about going on holiday, like what's, what should I do? And, and, it, and it's an interesting one. Of course, this study was in um, resistance trained females. So it's women who um, do resistance exercise. So you could argue it's a bit different. Their protein intake was good. So obviously that has a, an impact as well. However, there has been studies in other areas of, of weight loss where they found that people who had the diet break, their um, sustainability of it, so sticking to it was better. So, but again, you might need to consider that the more diet breaks you have, the longer you'll be potentially trying to lose. But remember, it's a journey, not a sprint. So again, this is just giving you a few options in here. And, and that's why everything we do at Fruity Fit is very much coached. So we can talk you through this to know what's going to be best for you with this. But I wanted to share that because Quite often people start something, they just think, yeah, I'm going to do this. And no wonder we lose motivation after three weeks when we don't know how to change it. We just get told to eat more speed foods, less sins, and then we hit a plateau. We don't know why. Could it just be as simple as a diet break because we're not actually sticking to the thing we were before? Are we currently overeating on here? Are we just tired? Are we just stressed? Do we need to step it back? Do we need to step it up a little bit and make it harder? Because when you make it harder, you go a bit harder, you see results quicker. That might make it easier to stick to. These are all questions that I'd like you to think about and I hope that helps. Any questions, as always, let me know. And this is something that we go through in our summer Shape Up program, which is now live. So if you want more information, comment below with summer and I'll get you the details. Have an awesome Tuesday.